Hey guys, Wild Willie here, and I just want to do a quick review uh, about a new radio and current one. When I talk about emergency preparedness and I teach my home preparedness courses, one of the crucial pieces of equipment for any 72-hour, uh, 96-hour kit is something like this. Um, this is a Midland all-weather alert station, NOAA station, and this runs for about $30. This is a desktop model, which means it sits on your desk and stays on, plugs in or runs off AA batteries. You see the aerial there. I just got it kind of behind the blind. It's up in the bedroom. Now, this is a great alert radio for around $30 mark. I bought mine off Amazon.ca. Um, pretty basic, really. Nothing extraordinary about it. It has the time on it. It has, uh, has warnings. Sorry if you can't see that too good. Watches and uh, advisory. It's got an audio alarm. It's got same technology, which is really good. Um, system area management or whatever it is system area management and coding I believe it's called and what that is is not only um, where you get national alerts and messages but you can put it into your select area you can put it in like to your region your city your town with that that number and you'll get specific alerts now along with most other radios with same technology this one also has a variety of warnings on it not only thunderstorms, hail, high winds, fog, and all that stuff, every major natural disaster, but it's stuff like icebergs, tsunamis, uh, lets you know when 911's down, if there's power failures in the area, child abductions, uh, boiled water advisories, stuff like that. It doesn't do much except alert you, but there's no radio, no fancy gadgets on it. It'll work when the power's off because it's battery backup. And this runs around the $30 mark. This is uh, something you plug it in, you turn it on, you forget it, it stays on all the time. Uh, you find your regular NOAA channel, whatever it is in your area. Yeah. So my, mine happens to be in French right now, but anyways. So there's that radio there. If you're looking for something a little more um, portable and versatile, I want to show you this. This is the new, uh, the newest radio from Eaton. This is the uh, FRX5. Now, this radio's got all the bells and whistles. I'm not joking. Um, you'll see on top here, it's got an ambient light. It has a flashlight, emergency beacon, of course. Um, your typical uh, Eaton crank, which is right here. It also runs off uh, regular alkaline batteries. Or what they've changed here, this whole backside is one big solar panel. To charge uh, the lithium batteries that are inside, which are, by by the way, they're over 2,000 milliamps or whatever, it's enough to charge a cell phone, hands down. Um, so it can run off solar. This whole thing's a panel. About five hours to charge in the sun right on dead. Uh, crank, battery, and this also has your weather stations on it, your NOAA stations. It's AM, FM radio. Um, also, same technology, same thing. You put in your specific area management and coding and your, your five-digit code, and you can just zone into the areas you want to listen to uh, or have alerts for. This same thing turns on. I believe it's on FM radio right now. Find out in a second. So the sound on it's good. So that's your volume. On the right-hand side is your digital tuning. You'll see on the top there, I'm going to turn off this light, hold on one second. I apologize about the cell phone too, my camera went for a crap. Um, you'll see there it glows too, after the fact. You can't really see in the light, but it stays glowed for a long time, so in case you have to find it in the dark. But on the on the top here, it's got, uh, I'm not going to get that too clear, it's got your cell dump charge. So basically, when you plug this in, oh, you can also plug it in a 5 volt, uh, a five volt uh, char uh, plug and plug it into your wall to charge it. So it's got DC, um, it also comes with a, uh, a cable for plugging into your uh, computer uh, or plugging into a little plug that plugs, you know, that takes the, the standard cables here. I'll pop this open. You'll see that in there. It also has an auxiliary jack, so if you want to plug in your cell phone into it and listen to the, listen to the music on there. But pound for pound, this is probably the best radio on the market right now as far as bells and whistles and the dura durability. You'll see here, this mode here, it takes you from uh, the lithium backup battery, and I can change that to uh, to run, uh, oh, right now i got it on cell. So I can change that to run off alkaline battery, back down to the internal battery here. Uh, as far as your weather alerts, you got a little alert button there. You can just turn that and keep that on. Uh, right now, no message saying there's no alerts right now, which is fine, which is good. 
but it does all the uh, all the bells and whistles you want to have plus these great lights the solar panel charging is excellent the radio charge is really good um, pound for pound this thing's around the hundred dollar mark off amazon.ca but I recommend this radio as a portable unit I've been really running the field test on this I've had this ambient light run for three days straight off the internal battery like I said I had put it in the sun six hours it charged in the sun not a problem uh, crank cranking this for uh, four minutes will give you like uh, two minutes of talk time to dump into your phone or 15 minutes of radio time so the crank works really well to Eaton's famous for their alternative power and their cranking system this is a really good crank in here so I'm recommending these these two radios guys people were asking me about different radios and you know what to buy or what not to buy this one if I had to buy a portable version this would be the one simply because it's one of the few ones that actually does work charging your cell phone which is absolutely fantastic and with battery backup to spare it's not going to drain your battery on this thing um, so yeah you, there's there's my local uh, NOAA channel there but anyways just to give a heads up guys these radios are very crucial for when shift hits, it, shit hits a fan um, you want to stay in touch with be able what's going on this one also does offer the all the weather thing with the same technology it offers you all the alerts from depending on where you are in the world and what you have turned on from avalanches to icebergs to tsunamis to wind to thir uh, thunderstorms tornadoes uh, uh, national emergency statements you know boil water advisory evacuation everything it does the same thing the midland radio I just showed you did but this is more of a portable version and it's got the bells and whistles like I said with the flashlight on the side um, which is very bright to uh, to the blinking uh, blinking emergency uh, light on there, it's got that one there, and you'll see too. You'll see too. This part glows to it, and they stay glowing for a long time. But anyways, those are just two quick radios, guys. I just wanted to give a little review on. They're well worth the money, whether you spend thirty dollars on the Midland version that stays plugged in and forget it, or you have something more portable and. Uh, more portable for moving around or taking even camping and stuff like that this radio it has an ixp of four and it's been drop tested um, so it is a little bit more durable than the previous models from eaton and it's new design too obviously with this and the huge solar panel on the back so anyways i'm wild willie and i gotta get trucking remember it's not a question of if this shit it's a fan it's a question of when so always be prepared